Hey guys, uh, it's been a long while since I've posted anything on this channel. Um, this is my actually my second go at filming this video. We're opening Darkness Ablaze. Um, we're gonna open some Battle Styles. And we're gonna open this pack of things right here. Um, with the Jumbo cards in it. And just to... We're not actually gonna open this, but I also got this Vivid Voltage um, theme deck. So we're just gonna keep that sealed for now. But we opened a couple of packs of Darkness Ablaze before I realized that I was goofing up. And this is the pull that we got from that. So I thought that was a good start. And um, hopefully our luck continues as we move forward. Um, I posted something on my Instagram, actually, yesterday, I think, maybe it was. And I don't keep code cards, so there you go, there is that. And I was seeing what people would be thinking about if we maybe talked about stuff that doesn't have to deal with Pokemon while we open cards. Um, because I think this community is such a good place. And I have personally made so many friends and just had so many good interactions but um I feel like we still are a little bit distanced um from one another in the fact that we use this for an escape and really we should just be talking about uh stuff in our personal lives and maybe not like all the details of it of course but oh look at that hang on just a minute a full art trainer Pierce, on the first pack we open on this video today, so check that out. That is, we're going to go ahead and sleeve that up. And I don't even think Darkness Ablaze really got its time to shine because it come right when all the other kinds of amazing things were going on. We had Vivid Voltage, Champion's Path. I just believe it kind of got outshined just a little bit. Well, I'll go ahead, even though... We opened the Butterfree VMAX. Before I started recording this, I'll still put it up there in my pulls for this video. And here is the code card for that one. So somebody can grab that up. But yeah, like I was saying on the Instagram, I kind of got some varied responses about having conversations about things that don't have to deal with Pokemon. And most people like the idea. You know, no matter what you do, you're going to have some naysayers. But I think it's a good way to really kind of feel closer to other people in the community to realize that, you know, we're not all just what our social media has to say about us. Like, we all have other stuff as well. And I think we all kind of know that, but like... I think it's easy to kind of forget that everybody has their own stuff going on, if that makes sense. But in this video, I don't want to have anything too heavy. Uh, my cat is literally jumping on me. Get down, stop. But um, I just kind of wanted to maybe talk about how we got into Pokemon in the first place. And for me, it really started, I'm, I'm not even gonna bull crap you all. There's a lot of people that will, and maybe people aren't bull crappy. Maybe I'm just not as fortunate as far as when I got into it, but I'm not one of those people that's been into it since like 99 when it, come, when it was first released. Although I think that would be cool and I have enjoyed vintage Stuff. That is not when it really started for me. For me, I really got heavy into collecting during the X and Y era of things. I think um, maybe, maybe even late black and white was probably my first like time that I went to the store with like and purchased something for myself and was excited about it. And I even still have some of that stuff in my collection even now. So I think that's when late black and white, early like XY base for me. So leave me a comment 
on this video and tell me when you got into Pokemon. And, um, maybe some of your, maybe you were into it for, ooh, that is a nice hollow rare dark rye. We'll sleeve that up. Um, and maybe just, let's have a conversation. When did you get into it? Maybe you were one of the ones that were into it in the 90s and you're not bullcrapping. And I'm just being bitter about that. So, let me know. Um... I would love to hear your origin story for getting into this hobby. Um, actually, when I was a junior in high school, I carried around a plasma freeze deck in my purse. And you know what? I probably wasn't quote unquote cool because literally I never got to play with the deck because nobody else, you know, that's... 16 years old is carrying that around with them to play with me. Although that person probably would have been my best friend, honestly. I missed opportunity for sure. But yeah, I loved it and I've not stopped loving it ever since. Did we just pull another full art trainer card? Oh my goodness. This is, this is our time to shine truly. Truly, that is amazing. Check that out. I don't really have a whole lot from this set already um, in my collection because, like I said, it was one of those sets that got outshined a little bit, honestly. And I love Darkness of Blaze. I believe that was our... I might be wrong about this, but I believe... Darkness Ablaze was the first um, shiny Charizard of the Sword and Shield era. So, I'm actually kind of surprised that it didn't... And maybe it was hyped up a little bit more. Maybe I just wasn't in on that, so I don't know. Um, I remember... My one, and still to this day, one of my favorite sets from that time period that I was referring to, like X and Y. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Was that very first Radiant Collection um, that they did. That Purloin card is my favorite card, even now. And I think it was just because it was the first card that I ever, like, pulled. It wasn't the first card I pulled, but it was the first, like... One that I pulled and I just had to look at it for a minute because I was just amazed at how beautiful it was. And I cherished that card. And I know it's probably not worth a whole lot right now. But to me, it holds that spot of, okay, that was my first, like, good pull. So that's another thing. Well, tell me in the comments section, what was your first, like, major pull that you had that you were just super excited about and it, you just treasure it because I think we all have that one card and for me it's that Radiant Collection Purloin. It's a beauty. A beauty indeed. Alright. Maybe we will our luck will keep up with the start and sublay stuff. We've had some good pulls. I'm actually pretty stoked about it because honestly most of the time, <laughs> if I turn a camera on, I don't pull anything and it's not even that exciting. But today is the day. Today, my luck with... Oh my goodness. Just back to back to back pulls. Yes. Sui Kun. Hollow Rare. Amazing. Set that up in there. This is a pretty good... Uh, pretty good pulls for a first um, Pokemon pack opening. I'm excited. I'm actually, I have three like major binders that I have all my cards in pretty much from X and Y era. I did the card trick wrong. Oh well. Um. X and Y error pretty much all the way up till now. Um, 
yeah, spread out in like three different binders. And I have decided that was the rare. The very first card was my rare. But anyways, so I'm going through and putting each individual set in a binder like most rational people do. Oh, here was another card that we pulled before I decided to restart the whole thing. So pretty neat. Pretty, pretty good opening. So that is my current project that we are working on. And hopefully, I only expect for my card opening videos to get better because this one might be a little rough because it's the first one. And most things that we do are a little rough in the beginning, but we will work out those kinks code card there and everything will be perfect or just a little slightly closer to perfect that would that's really all that I'm aiming for is just slightly closer to perfect because nothing in life is ever actually perfect but I am excited to grow this channel and to get to know more people in the community and get to know um y'all stories like where when you got into pokemon and what your favorite sets are and your favorite cards i would just love to see all of that stuff and if you're interested at all in in seeing any of that stuff from me you can fall you can find me on pretty much all social media platforms at one hot chikorita and two Nobody's surprised. I'm actually not that hot of a chikorita, but that's fine. I'm just here for the play on words. I've actually considered maybe even changing my username, but you know, I, I come up with one hot chikorita. I thought it was a nice pun. I'm sticking with it for the foreseeable future. I'm proud of that. Ooh, a regular regular rare lugia that is not a bad regular rare pool to have so i believe that was our last darkness ablaze so we ended our darkness ablaze adventure on a regular rare lugia now we're going to be moving into battle styles i know it's crazy for a lot of people right now trying to complete shining fates and battle styles at the same time my video cut off there for a second. I don't know if you got the code card or not, but there it is. And what I was saying was, I don't know. I'm sure that um, open doing both battle styles and shining fates is a difficult task for lots of people that are very heavy into um, collecting all the sets, but they could be like me and just not have any completed sets. So, you know. I'm hoping to change that, and hopefully that's part of the journey that you guys will be along the ride for, is completing our sets. Um, in future videos, maybe I'll break out the binders and show you all how com how far we are from completing each set and um, showing you the progress we make on those. If that's something you guys would be interested in, it would be something I think would be fun for us to do. And there is a hollow rare Kangaskhan. Excitement, excitement. What did I do with my sleeves? There they are. We'll sleeve that right up. You know, right now I just have eight subscribers. But honestly, that was all that I ever had. And just all eight of you were watching my videos. I would be thrilled to death with just that but I just have a feeling that we're gonna grow we're not gonna stay at eight followers no maybe one day we'll have eight thousand or eight hundred we'll aim small eight hundred that would be a cool milestone to hit honestly a hundred would be a cool milestone to hit too but I'm just happy to be here and opening up cards and talking to you all that is the fun in it, for sure. That is part of the fun. That's majority of the fun. All the other stuff is just the bonus. I think I left something out of this. Um, I said all the stuff we had to open today. We also have this mystery cube thing, and I'm really not a fan. I don't even know why I got it, honestly. 
because I'm not a fan of them. I've never had a good pull from it, but today is the day. And there is the rare. There's really no point in me doing this if I'm not going to do the card trick. Oh, well, here's the rest of that pack. I just realized I forgot to say something about the mystery cube that we're going to open, too. And I think it's just because I just never have any luck at all with those. But I'm just, every time I see it, I'm like, hmm. I could get one of the vintage pulls this time, so I always pick one up. That and with Pokemon product being as limited as it's been, like, if I were, honestly, if I walked into the store and all they had was the Power Cube, yeah, I'm going to get it because it's a Pokemon item. And I don't always find that when I go to the store, so why not? And I think the whole, well... The shortage of Pokemon cards. That's a whole video in of itself. And Electrovire. Because they're just... It's unnecessary, honestly. It is unnecessary. The... The shortage. for. I mean, not all of it. I mean, I know that... There was a global pandemic. And... There still is a global pandemic going on. People are out of work. It's not safe in the world. There's bigger fish to fry. I get that. But um, the part that can be helped is the scalping. And I could just make a whole video on that. And on, I, I watched a really good one that put everything kind of into perspective. And it's on my bud. His name's S SKD Super King here on YouTube. Check that video out if you're interested in seeing a rant from a member of the community who is fed up with the scalping. I could make my own separate video, but he sums it up really well. So if you want to check that out, I'm sure he would appreciate that. But yeah, I'm, I'm hopeful that things will go back to 2019-ish in the near in the near future. And a hollow rare cherub. It's a beauty, a beauty indeed. I was trying the two camera thing for this video, but uh, my phone is just dying and running out of storage constantly. So I think for now, this is how we're gonna have our setup. Anyways, there's the code card from that if you want it. I'm very disorganized, but it's fine. Um, So for now, we'll just do it like this because this is how the world works for me. I can never have my cake and eat it too. I'm not an Al Creamy, unfortunately. I wish I were an Al Creamy. I'm sure an Al Creamy is a lot less stressful of a life than me. Just being a piece of cake or ice cream or whatever dairy thing that Al Creamy is. It's a beauty though. It is a beauty. What if we pulled one now that we've been talking about it? <gasps> it is a Urshava V Rapid Strike. Mm -mm. Yeah, we're gonna sleep this up. I think, well, I keep losing my sleeves. I'm losing my mind, guys. I am losing my mind. <laughs> they are right in front of my face. They are right in front of my face. Oops. Sleeve that on up. Put that up in our pool bin. Y'all should see the mess that I've made. It's truly awful. But anyways, there is the code card for this pack. I accidentally peeked. I didn't mean to, but there is something good in this pack so that's exciting we're just having such we're having such good luck for a first video like it's honestly kind of scary like i usually don't have any luck at all you guys you guys bring the luck for sure and it's another full art card it's bruno this time for battle styles i have pulled cheryl and phoebe both of the full arts and now we'll be adding bruno to the mix oh yeah and just, this has been the land of 
full art pulls, full art trainer pulls. I'm just, that's insane. I don't ever make pulls like that. You know what would make this the best, the best opening of all time is if I could pull that, that beautiful chase card, the full art Tyranitar V. I think that would surely make for a good card opening video if I do say so myself. Um, but I can't complain for the most part. I've had good pulls with battle styles so far. I've had lots of good pulls. Um, but we all want the chase card. We all want the chase card for sure. I feel like I just have such a mess that I'm gonna find like an unopened pack later when I'm bringing this up. But if I do, I do. There is the code card. I actually started my Instagram probably a year or two ago. Probably two years ago. And that's what I started out doing was just giving away code cards. Because, like, I don't use them at all. And even to this day, I still have people that message me on there. Even though I don't really do that anymore. They message me and ask me for one every once in a while. And if I see the message and, like, I'm near my code cards, I'll give them one. But, like, I just... I don't know. Like, I feel like I could do something... Like a big giveaway with them if I... I think I've already pulled that, like, two or three times do a bigger giveaway with them. I don't know if that's something that maybe we should make a giveaway with on this channel when we hit a certain follower count or subscriber count. Maybe I could do something like that. I don't know. We'll see. We will see where the Arceus leads us. Love of energy. Hey, hey. I really wish I had made a video a couple of weeks ago. I got my first ever booster box. It was Battle Styles. Um, I got quite a few hits from it, but not as many as I thought I would. And I may have just had too high of expectations for that. For that, but um, that's a lot of cards. Like, and I'm not somebody that can get tired of opening packs. Like, I feel like I could just sit here and open packs all the live long day. But a booster box, that'll wear you out. Like, I was, I was tired by the time I opened that 36 pack. But I was happy, happy to have finally gotten one. That's kind of been like a small goal of mine for a long time was to be able to open a booster box and so but I wasn't really in a place where I wanted to film film that anyways like it, that's a good therapeutic thing sometimes is to just open cards and not film it and to not worry about who sees your pools and all that stuff and I think that is perfectly fine but yeah We're on our last three packs from Battle Styles, and we have not seen a Tyranitar V. I believe that will be the thing. We'll be opening Battle Styles together, you and me, until we pull Tapu Bunu and a Galarian Slowbro. Not too bad. Um, which pack do I think is more, most likely to have it? Hmm. I think it's in this pack. I, I'm, I'm sure of it. The Tyranitar V full art is in that pack. So we're going to save that one for last. Yeah, I'm already looking at this mystery cube that we're going to need to pop into. And I know I'm just going to be mad. But I don't know. Do you guys have luck with the mystery cubes? I may have already asked that question. But please let me know because I just... I have such bad luck with them. Honestly, the last one that I got, I kid you not, I got like two cards from like like the World World Championship deck. Like just two cards with that stamp on the back. And a holo rare tapu boo. That is worthy of a sleeve to me. Yes, indeed. 
I'm thinking I'm going to be doing a pool game for the first time on Instagram. Probably, probably Sunday, but sometime this weekend for sure. I've been spending the last couple of days getting pools ready for that. So if you're interested in a good pool game at One Hot Chikorita on Instagram, be sure to follow me there. To be there for that last pack y'all i'm nervous but i believe that that tyranitar is in here for sure i'm i'm set on it da, 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 da. oh man freaking stone journer again ah! sorry next time Oh, what do we want to do next? Let's do this one next because I literally think I know what's in here, but you never know. Is there a pack in this? I think there are packs in this. I literally just thought it was the jumbo cards. But guys, but guys. Check it out. We got Sun and Moon and another Battle Styles. We Sun and Moon and another Battle Styles. We have one more opportunity for that um, Tyranitar V Full Art. So we're, we'll save that one. We'll save that one. We'll open up a Sun and Moon base. You know, Sun and Moon base, or it's not Sun and Moon base, but Sun and Moon Era had some really good sets. Like, I was bound and determined to complete Cosmic Eclipse. And I pretty much still am. Because I just don't think that Cosmic Eclipse is going to stay as pricey as it is right now. Could be wrong about that. But that is definitely a set that I would love to have completed. Alright. Here we go. Please, Arceus. Please and please let the Full Art Tyranitar V be in this pack. Dun, 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 dun. Nervous, guys. Because I know one of these days I am actually going to pull that card. Maybe it'll be today. Today is still very young. Very young. Um, I'm really stoked. I thought I had already opened... Everything there was to open. And a Kingdra. It's not the card we wanted, but it is in fact a hollow rare. So it is sleeve worthy. So I cannot complain with with that. That is all right. You know, I believe that was all of the packs to open. So we'll dive right into our very last thing for this video. Which is this mystery power cube. I feel like I need like a sound effects thing for this. And maybe we'll get there. Like I said, I fully intend to continue to grow this thing into something massive. Of a giant. Oh, were those our hollows? I don't know. Let's see what we got for our... We get three foil cards. And we got a Dragonair. From Unified Minds. A return label trainer card. And, and a baby. It's a baby card if I can get it out. It's a baby. It's a teeny. Why couldn't the other one been Dragonite? Missed opportunity for sure. Let's see. Cosmic Eclipse, we was just talking about that set. Hidden Fates bulk. I thought I saw something in here, but I wouldn't swear to it, so. Sweet little Growlithe. Energies. Like I said, like 
I'm not, I'm not sure there's anything really in here. There may be some cards though that I didn't have because like I said, I don't really have, I don't have a set completed, I don't think, honestly. And I've been collecting on and off since 2011. So hopefully, if nothing else, that we can just maybe add some of these bulk cards to our sets that are incomplete. Like, I know good and well that these aren't actually worth purchasing, and I do it every time. So, you know, please learn from me. Don't. Oh, wait, there's something else. Oh, just a couple more trainer cards. Okay, yeah. But it comes with this really cool case, so we'll put something in that because I do end up reusing those. So, it's not a total waste. So, anyways. Learn from me. Stay away from most third-party products. Not all. But those mystery cubes are definitely not the ones you want to be spending your money on, for sure. But anyways, let's do a, uh, just a quick recap of all of our awesome, awesome pools. We got the Hollow Rare Kingdra, Hollow Rare Tapu Bulu, our Full Art Bruno, our Rapid Strike Urshava B, a Hollow Rare Cherum, Hollow Rare Suicune, Hollow Rare Kangaskhan, and our Full Art Rose Trainer card. Look at that handsome face. We got Hollow Rare Darkrai, Hollow Rare Golly Sapot. I really don't know how to say that, but you all don't even act like you pronounce every Pokemon name right. Give me a break. We got our Butterfree VMAX and our other Full Art Pierce card. So, Thank you all for stopping by and hanging out with me. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit the like button. Leave me a comment. Encouraging me in some way, shape, or form. Telling me how you got into Pokemon. Answering any of the questions from today's video. Um, make sure you hit subscribe and the notification bell so you never miss an opportunity to hang out with me. And if you really like hanging out with me, you can find me on pretty much all social media platforms at One Hot Chikorita. I'm on Instagram. I'm not on Twitter because Twitter's lame. Sorry if you are into Twitter. Um, I have a Twitch, so I don't think I've done much with it. So, but maybe we can change that in the future. I said all social media, basically just Instagram. Follow me on Instagram at One Hot Chikorita. Um, and I'll see you next time.